we're going to talk about a, a guy today called Robert Hansen. And this is a topic that I have heard the name, but you've I've heard the, the idea of this to the point where they've even made movies. I don't know if the movies are based around this guy, but there's been definitely lots of Hollywood kind of interpretations of Robert Hansen's story. Am I correct about that? Yeah, there's a movie called Frozen Ground starring John Cusack as Robert Hansen. There are several Criminal Minds episodes based on this topic. It's, it's essentially the most dangerous game. He's, he's letting humans right. loose in the wilderness and hunting them down. And that's the way that he goes about killing his victims, which we'll get into how he chooses them and that kind of thing later. But yeah, hunting them down in the Alaskan wilderness like animals. Yeah, Robert Hansen, uh, just to go as a quick uh, quick description, a serial killer in between 71 and 83, he abducted, raped, and murdered at least 17 women in and around Anchorage, Alaska, hunted many of them down in the wilderness with a, with a gun and a knife. So this is the type of guy that he's actually finding victims, basically, you know, and we'll fill all this in, but taking them up to a, a remote spot in, in, in Alaska, letting them loose and then chasing after them. I mean, it's basically the running man, you know, <laughs> but a real life, much more disturbing version of, of this concept. Yeah, very much. And he's not even giving them a chance to giving them a chance to get away. He's sexually assaulting them and abusing them and weakening them before he lets them loose. So he's not even, it's not even a game to him because there's no chance of survival for most of these women. Well, let's get into it. I mean, once again, you guys have 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 a great show, and you find out a lot about these, you know, horrible people. How did Robert Hansen come on your radar? Yeah, this was one of those that we were just uh, when when you asked us to come back on. I was like, how do we up the crazy? How do we make it any more ridiculous than the cookbook killer? And I don't know if this is as gross, but to me, it's just as fascinating. So so we discovered the topic, and the more we looked into it, really the the crazier it gets, even though we've kind of told the premise, the details of it are even more weird. He was born in Iowa, in Esterville, that was uh, around the Minnesota border. It was a tiny little spot. There's only about 6,000 people that live there. And anytime we're researching a case, we try to look up, you know what, who's, who's notable from that area? There are only a few people that came up. One was another murderer. Then we have Robert Hansen. And then we have the current dean of medicine at Johns Hopkins School of Education. So quite the mixed bag coming out of Esterville there. So was it like, uh, you know, when we're talking about his childhood, I know, for example, the cookbook killer, there was a lot of kind of strange things happening when he was a kid where you're seeing some neon signs of some mental illness and some issues. Did did Hanson show any of that uh, during his uh, formidable years? Yeah, there were definitely some issues, but but I've seen so many cases with like so much worse. Like this kid wasn't, sexually abused or physically abused like that we know of but his dad was really stern like his dad and him did not have a great relationship his dad ran a bakery and so this kid was forced to work there like reportedly long hours and he was just kind of a backwards kid like he wasn't really confident he had a lot of acne problems he had a stuttering problem he had like zero friends in school so he had a pretty rough life you know outside of his home life he he didn't have anybody he was a loner so Kind of the stereotypical things that you look for in someone who grows up to be, you know, kind of a murderer, <laughs> bad guy kind of guy. It's hard to even put into words when you're you're thinking about about Hanson, um, you know, and obviously growing into this. I mean, I, I just can't wrap my my head around it. You know what I mean? To 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 see what he became and what he grew into and th- th- these crimes. When did he start exhibiting? some odd behavior that starts taking us down this road to where he's actually kidnapping people and releasing them as, as animals to hunt down like deer, uh, you know, at the lake in October. Yeah. With a lot of killers we cover, there's usually like big moments of they murdered a cat or they burned down a building and it's more of a slow burn for Robert Hansen. It's important to note that he was a really big hunter. He was really big on uh, just getting out in the wilderness. He was really good at hunting, which is, uh, I don't know, that's not something that creeps me out personally. I grew up in the woods. I grew up hunting. So to me, that's kind of a normal part of my childhood. But in retrospect, that certainly is scary. 
Yeah, so he was a hunter, and after high school, he joined the Army Reserves. So not only was he a good hunter, like, recreationally, he was trained by the U.S. military to be, like, hunting humans. So so he's a good marksman. He, he was really well-trained in what he did. 